We're gonna start by trying to make a corset pattern. This is the second time we've been duct taped like this. Are you gonna cut me? It's a lot of trust to allow someone to cut scissors down your bare back. This is the start of a corset pattern. So this piece of tape became this pattern. So what you're about to see is a bit of a montage for making the underpinnings for my Claire Fraser cosplay. This is only really the first half of the project, so if you like to watch things coming together to a happy tune, then uh, keep watching. There are some tips in there and some moments. Yeah, enjoy! I'm wondering if this quarter is payment for all the times that I've stabbed myself in this freaking nest of needles. So many pins. Everything is all lined out now, and I did a little testing to see if the bone, oh, see if the boning would fit, and it does. I think that maybe my boning needs to be. Fit. It took a million hours and gave me a pinched error in my arm. I'm making my peignets right now, or pocket hoops, and you can see how well these ones line up. It's not perfect, but like... These two strips of fabric line up nicely, and they do at this end too. This one, I'll line it up down here, and then on this side, not even close. Magic witchcraft, one of those things. Yay! trick for sealing off ribbon so that it doesn't fray if you're using it to tie. You can see that this one's pretty frayed. All you have to do is hold it up to a flame. It starts to melt and there you go. I'm wearing my house coat because it's cold as fuck down here. So there's a thing that happens when you're making stuff that you don't have patterns for and it's called trying again. So there's a progression of these bob rolls that I've been making. This is the first attempt. Notice that I sewed the ribbon inside permanently. Attempt number two stuck out too much. This is a different kind, but it works way better. I just have to hand stitch it closed. 
and it will be ready to be used. Clearly wearing the onesie. This is the front panel of the skirt. Are you stalking me? Clearly I have not cut the lace yet. <laughs> um, I don't know how I like this yet. There's curly trimming to be done. It's gonna be upside down. I have a very big forehead. Maybe. Oh, that doesn't make anything better. That's one thing cosplay will teach you. Take things apart until they work. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So that was the making of the underpinnings for my Claire Fraser cosplay. If you guys have any questions at all, please comment below and I will do my best to answer them. This was a lot of fun, so I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, rock on. Tune in for part two if you want to see the makings of the actual dress, which I haven't done yet, but I'm planning on doing before September 1st. There will also be a part three showing how to get into 17th century underpinnings and the wedding dress, which will be interesting. I may need help. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.